So I installed some LED driving lights on my motorcycle on my Royal Enfield 650 here and I put them on the crash bars and I the reason I installed them was to be seen. I know they provide a lot more light for me to see but it was primarily to increase the profile. I, I read a study and it talks about for some reason motorcycles with like white fairings were seen more often and it's because the front profile of your motor motorcycle is larger. So the more you can do, you see a lot of motorcycles with the driving lights, the fog lights, the Harley Davidsons, whatever, the uh, BMW GSA Adventure Tours, they've got the auxiliary lights and sure those are helpful when you need them in the dark or off road. But for me, it's more about being seen and it's increasing. You basically create a triangle with your front headlight, which the stock ones on these Royal Enfields are not that bright. And then you've got the lower two points of the triangle here, with this being the top of the triangle. I went with uh, Oxbeam, found these guys on Amazon. It was about $100 for these LED lights and they have white. So steady white, steady yellow, and then flashing of yellow, flashing of white, and then flashing alternate uh, between white and yellow. So I'll show you some pictures of what I did. What I ended up doing was I plugged it in, in this is a 2022 interceptor. That would be the same for the Continental. There is an accessory uh, pigtail essentially in the headlight unit. And I got a little clip off eBay that would fit that. It's like the male clip. There's a female clip in here. And I ran that, the, the two wires of that, to the power wires that came with these LED lights. They came with their own ray, relay, they came with their own fuse. But that way, the fact I hooked it up to the accessory wire here in the headlight was then when you're, obviously when your key goes off, the lights go off, so you don't have a danger of draining your battery. That was the idea there. So. Yeah, it was, um, I put the wiring in <clears throat> I when I did the 300 or 500 kilometer, the 300 mile service, 500 kilometer service, I had the tank off anyway to adjust the valve so it helped me run the wires and hide the wires a little bit better. I'll show you some pictures of inside. Um, uh, I mean, when I had the tank off, but uh, here's some driving video, some footage of with me with the lights that I tried to position the camera roughly where the driver's head, the level of, you know, the average driver would be, to give you an idea. They are super bright. I ended up aiming them a little bit further down because they were up and like, in the position I was standing in, <laughs> they were blinding. Anyway, hopefully this is helpful to you.